and welcome back to Visit Fowl Coast. We're on a jolly this afternoon. It's a beautiful Monday afternoon. So we're going we're going on an afternoon trip, aren't we boys? Yeah. So I've got the tea boy with me, as you can gather from him saying yes. Tea boy in training's in the back. Hello. Tea boy in training's doing something in the back. He's got the <laughs> little laptop on his knee. And he's uh, just in a little bit of troubleshooting, as they used to say to yeah. HSBC. So it may, it'll probably be quieter than normal. Because when he concentrates, he can't, he can't talk at can't the same time. Can't do two things at once. So bearing in mind, we are right down at the south end of Blackpool, as you can see by the beautiful Pleasure Beach in front of us. I thought we would film the journey from South Blackpool to Lytham is where we are going this afternoon. We'll do the we'll do the reason for our journey to Lytham on a separate video because otherwise it'll be a bit of an epic because it's a little bit of a distance from here. So what you need to look for is scaffolding and big, crane. big cranes. Oh yeah big crane straight in front. Well I can't see it from my visor. The big crane is removing a portion of the big one pleasure ride and putting a new piece in. Oh. So it is a very, very big crane. A very, very big one. Well. It's parked on the side of the highway here. Oh yes, they knew they were going to have to take the, the road up with it. Don't forget, T-Boy, that you need to shout up a little bit so that we can hear you over the road. I brought a very technical piece of equipment today. I brought a little bulldog clip. <laughs> and fastened the microphone to the air vent so that it picks it all up. Oh, you get a good good view of the very big crane while we just sat at these little temporary traffic lights. Shame I've not got my camera out. Tut tut. What's the air vent off? Might get wind noise on your microphone. It's off. It's <laughs> off tea by in training. Is that the only wind noise? Very unlikely. Where tea by in training is concerned. So as we've just driven from Cleveland's all the way down to South Shore, it's like it's like <coughs> decorating and doing up city, isn't it? Yep. There's people all over getting ready. Scaffolding, ladders, painters and decorators, builders. I kept saying it's a good place to be a scaffolder. So, what else do you know about that then, T-Boy? Because you seem to be pretty well informed. There we go, on this piece here. Ooh. Scaffolding. Drive slowly, shall we? And then you can have a good goggle. This on the left is the Boulevard Hotel, Very as nice. built by the Pleasure Beach. With their little bits of plastic grass, I reckon they bring the over out and over that. And then next on the left is the extension on the Hampton by Hilton and last time we came down here when we went to Squires Gate this was all shrouded in scaffolding it looks better doesn't it's it? it's lovely that now, real the only, the only criticism I've got with that Hampton by Hilton is that they've got cream um, sort of fine, fine gauge cotton curtains up for, for sun um, and unfortunately the guests are not very not very good at putting them tidy while they're in the apartment. And on the left now is a beautiful set of new apartments. And they're private. Yes. Coastal point if anybody fancies one. I would imagine they're a few quid. But a lot less than sandbanks. If you want, want a little bit of coastal living. Straight in front, tram shed. The very big tram shed which is where all the trams go to bed at night. I've got a feeling that I've told you this story once before. Did I, did I? Oh yes, of course. The one where I went out in the dark. <laughs> yeah, it does happen occasionally. The one where Jane went out in the dark. And you can see, if you've watched that one, you'll see what a huge, huge difference a bit of daylight makes. Anyway, when we went out in the dark, we went up left to the energy college at Lancashire Energy HQ at Blackpool College and today we are bearing right we are following the road round and this is Squiresgate Lane to your left 
and the boundary of Blackpool Council with Fylde. That's right. So this is Fylde Council land that we're approaching now. Because we're very lucky here on the Fylde Coast, we've got a, a multiplicity of local authorities just to complicate everything that everybody tries to do. So we've got Fylde, looks after St Anne's, Lytham and the South End. Blackpool is a unitary authority, aren't they lucky? And Wire is Cleveland's Fleetwood, etc. And on the right hand side are the big sand dunes. And we've, have, have you ever been up there, dear boy? Yeah. Have you? Yeah. On your own? No. Oh, oh go with. <laughs> your mum. <laughs> See, oh, really? <laughs> Secrets are coming out now. Secrets are coming out now. That's a very popular spot for people watching planes when the air show's on. Well, it's right in line with it's high the, up as well. It's right in line with the uh, airport runway, isn't it? It is, which is on the left. So on your left is what used to be Pontins Holiday Camp, and is now a big housing estate. Which, to be honest, it looks better. It does, it does. Looks tidier. What was that to by training? Yes, I know. He's, he's got this thing about... He's got this thing about talking quietly until he's tormenting us about what's good, who's going to get murdered. Not quiet. On Coronation Street. <coughs> you need to elevate your voice slightly. Just think you're shouting at me. I never shout at you. As if. <coughs> yeah, so when we came here, this was all... In fact, I think Pontins were still up, it was was, it yes, definitely. When, when we first moved. Yeah. <coughs> so on the right-hand side, the red brick building is a, full, a, a home. And I think, did, did somebody get murdered there as well? Oh, I don't know that bit. If you know the answer to that, drop a comment underneath. But the sure. red brick building is a sure private... somebody got uh, murdered in the bed. ...home for the elderly and what have you, and the white building at the back, which you might not have seen, um, is private... Private apartments. Oh, you just missed it. If you didn't catch it before he mentioned it, you <coughs> missed it. If I remember rightly, rather expensive. So these sand dunes on the right carry through on the left, and this all used to be sand dunes, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Back in the day. So this is a natural, a natural floodplain, sea defence. Call it what you will. Very important without what's on the right, the ones on the left would get washed away. And now you drive through some rather nice property. Yes, it's very nice. I think we'll go the scenic route, we'll shall we? the scenic route, yes. Have you come to life, T boy training? Come back. Have you, have you shut your lid? Come back, I've shut my lid. You see, if I'd have been sat in the back of a car <laughs> with the computer on, typing and gone all that way by now you would have been scraping projectile vomit out of the vent nice. that I fastened the microphone to nice. yes exactly so if you turn left here you go up to Old Links golf course St Anne's Old Links is that right? yes so you're now in St really? Anne's well I know it's the golf course I'm mm -hmm. just asking whether it's the right name for it Yes, the Tans Old Links is on the on the side there. And we're going to go the scenic way. We're going to go via the seafront. Oh no, it's not that one. I always want to go down that one. It's the next one. It's this one. Todmorden Road. I have no idea why a road in Fylde on the west coast at St Tans is called Todmorden Road. If you know the answer to that, Please pop a, qu uh, a comment underneath because it intrigues me every time I come round that corner. Whoa. Now, notoriously, on this right hand side, I'll tell, I'll tell you when, there's a little bit of the sand dune being excavated. When? That bit on the right there. Yeah. Um, and one of these local residents on the left decided that it obstructed his view, so he dug it out. There was an uproar. At the time, and I didn't really understand.
stand back then, but they, they were rare really to uproar because this is the sea defence that stops this lot from, from flooding. But the wind blown sand would do my head in if I lived here, I must say. It's a very nice one here, isn't it? Yeah. Very nice. Tree residential care home. Oh, you'd be alright. Must get the address of that. We'll put you in there, <laughs> couldn't we? I think there's quite a few luxury residential care homes on here. And in a hop and a skip and a jump, we're coming up to St Anne's here, which is the little building you can see on the right hand side with the little pointy thing on top. Hotels, places to stay. is the car park at the right hand side for the beach. It's quite a lot of free parking as well at St Anne's, as you can tell by all these cars that are parked on St Anne's Pier, you're right. And all of the seafront amenities. I was just waiting, I was just hoping they were going to cross then, I thought we might get away with pulling, pulling to a stop. See from gardens. There are, of course, videos about St. Anne's, the gardens of the promenade, and all the lovely stuff that there is on Visit Fowl Coast on our YouTube channel. Goodness, this to that's a little bit bright. Yeah. Straight in your eyes. That's the island on the right, which is the cinema, etc. It's very nice place. A bit more scaffolding. Maybe this is another luxury residential care home in the making. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dawson. Mm -hmm. Dawson, yeah. Can't really see him when you're on the road though because he's in he's in the happiness garden at the side of the pier. It's a lovely waterfall here as well. It's a nice little private Duck garden. Ducks. Lovely. There's an article about that on the Visits in Tans website as well. In fact, pretty much most of everything is on one website or another. So now we're getting round to, well, South End Div. So another, another great big block being built. The south end of St Tans and we're coming up to Fairhaven so we're kind of in that crossover point. You can just see the river over the top of the over the top of the sand dunes. So this is the river ripple on this side. These are all beautiful private residential paths. Very deep pockets if you want to buy a property on the seafront at St Anne's. And they need to be even deeper still if you want one on the seafront at Lynham. Right, did your, did your sister go to this school? When it was Queen Mary's Grammar School, girls, yes, my sister went there.
There we are. There you go. One leg. Surprise! And round the back of that, there is a road and a car park where you can park to go on the seafront and the beach. Exactly. A very nice walk, in fact. You can make it circular as well and come back round the lake. So this is the new sea defence that they've built recently at Granny's Bay. This is this is called Granny's Bay because apparently Squire Clifton used to bring her grandchildren here to play. Did you know that? No. Oh, you go every day is a school day. And over the other side of the river you can see Southport and what else? Mm, Much Hull, I think it's called. I'll ask you because you're better at geography. Well, I used to live in Penworth and all that way. So you can follow that footpath there, and that's known as Church Scar, that little bit of seafront. Um, probably because there's a very big white church on the left. And it brings you out on Lytham Green, but obviously there's no vehicular access. So we shall follow the road. footpath is at the back of these properties on the right hand side and that's that's all new seafront as well it's very nice and of course this is where all the the mill owners and the industrialists from Lancashire came to live probably because the prevailing weather carried all the smoke from their factories inland and this was on the clean clean air of the west because that's what they used to do in town. Yeah, that's right. So all these beautiful big red houses on the, the left, they're all uh, date back to the year dot and the industrial revolution. Geographically challenged. Lowther Gardens on the left. That is Lowther Gardens. That's not Stockport <laughs> or Birmingham. <laughs> so they're doing some work. And this is where the hold with the prompts, with the festival as it's now called. All this wide grass becomes a great big concert arena. Nicely boxed off so nobody can see it from outside. Except these on the left. So if you know anybody that's got a property on the left, you need to get talking nicely to them down then you get your free free seas on their balconies. <laughs> your drive from South Blackpool all the way to Lytham Windmill. I'll take you to the windmill and leave you there. <laughs> and then we we will go we will go about our about our business. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Have you enjoyed that boys? Yes, I enjoyed it. You enjoyed the, it? The last half anyway. Very quiet in the back. I know. You were doing very well. Have I managed to tell you anything you didn't know, T-boy in training? Well, more or less everything, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gone, he's gone into a mackerel sky. The only contribution I could have made was the golf course. And you didn't even do that, did you? No, because you did it for me. You didn't even do that. So, hope you've enjoyed that. Um, don't forget to make sure that you watch the next part of our ex 
expedition this afternoon and find out where we're going in Lytham because we're going to go and look for a rather gorgeous a rather gorgeous spring site which none of us have ever seen before so it'll be a first for us as it is a first for you so until next time we will see you later the brown sign might be a clue bye for now